teammates are ready to be captured. Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I am back with a new build video. It's been a while for sure, but you may have seen me using this build in the background of my past few videos. I've been using it a lot in conflict, and I think you are all going to enjoy it a lot, so I'm excited to share this. I have to first, though, give a major shout out to a fellow content creator of mine named I Am Fox. If you haven't heard of him, he's kind of skyrocketed in popularity because of his very long, detailed, and in depth build videos, tutorials, and guides that he makes. The inspiration for the build I'm showing you today came 100 percent from one of his recent videos and so I will link that video of his down below for you all to go and check out. I highly recommend his channel if you enjoy lots of different and unique build ideas. I also want to clarify that while I got full inspiration for this build from him, I've modified it pretty greatly to fit a much more aggressive playstyle that I enjoy playing and that I feel a lot of my subscribers enjoy as well. So big shout out to him for the inspiration, but this is not just a direct copy. All right guys, with all that down and out of the way, I'm very excited to present this build to you. Let's dive in. All right, so jumping right in, I will point out right away that the big difference from Fox's version of the build is that he centered it a lot more around like full damage. He put a lot of headshot damage stuff specking in. And this one, I just kind of wanted to do a lot more uh, in your face, you know, a bit more utility if you want to play a bit more aggressive. And so that is kind of what I was going for with this build. For my primary, I, of course, have the Eagle Bear, which is still pretty much the top statistically, you know, damage and everything AR. Um, if you do not have this, then you can, of course, use something equivalent in the high-end category. I would say a police M4, a Carbine 7, a FAMA, something like that, um, with probably Optimist would be a great choice. But if not, then, of course, I recommend the Eagle Bear, and I just love this gun. And, of course, with 3 Striker, uh, which is kind of what this is all about, you're getting a lot of that uh, extra fire rate, and the Eagle Bear already has really great handling, and so that is one of the reasons for that. You also get the weapon handling on this, and it just makes this thing even more accurate. Jumping over to the stats, just so you can see what that is about for this. 51 crit chance, 130 crit damage, um, and I do have a few spots where the crit chance could go up, so that's probably a bit closer to like 55 and 130, which I feel like is a really good distribution for having three pieces of this build be gear sets. Uh, moving on then, just my secondary is an apartment. You can use any sort of gun you want here. You could do a rifle if you want. I chose to have an SMG just for a secondary close range option. And the apartment is a really good one there. But really, like I said, use whatever you want. And then for my sidearm, just have the orbit like most of my builds. Moving on to the gear. First piece, we have a striker mask with armor, crit damage, and a crit chance mod. On this setup, I have three blues and three reds. Um, I believe in Foxes, he did four blues and two reds, but I really like this distribution more just for a bit more damage. You also have more survivability with using a shield and a defender drone, so I feel, and unbreakable. <clears throat> so I feel like three blues is plenty, and it gives you, you know, a healthy amount of damage to be able to put people down pretty fast. So that's what I'm using there, and again, this is one of my three pieces of striker on the build. For the chest piece, one piece of Fenris for the 10% AR damage. We have weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a crit chance mod on here with Unbreakable. Again, pretty self-explanatory. I like Unbreakable on this setup. It really helps when you're in those... Um, you know, aggressive and up close scenarios. And if you don't have an armor regen build or you don't have that on your build, then uh, Unbreakable is a really good secondary option just for a bit more survivability. It's pretty needed, uh, but you could, of course, try something like Obliterate, but I really recommend Unbreakable for this type of setup and this type of playstyle. Moving on to the holster, another piece of striker, two out of three, with uh, again, armor and crit damage there. And so that's pretty self-explanatory. The backpack, I have one piece of Sombra for the 15% crit damage. That's kind of how I'm getting that really high crit damage value, even though I'm using three pieces of a gear set, which of course are missing one attribute roll. 
On here, I have weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, and a crit damage mod with companion. And again, companion is pretty crucial to how I've set this up, where I'm using a defender drone, so I get that extra survivability, and I have unbreakable, and then I get damage for doing that with companion, and it just kind of makes all of this synergize together really well. Like I said before, you know, a lot of these pieces could still be rolled up a bit, as you can see on the stats on this one. And so doing in doing that, you would get even more crit values across the board. So uh, there's certainly room for improvement with my gear, and so I think you'll see that a lot. Moving on to the gloves, we have the third piece of striker here, and that again has armor and crit chance. So each of the striker pieces is what I have my three blues on to get that three total, three and three. Uh, but of course, you can mix and match with uh, whatever pieces you have that work. Um, my recommended setup is three blues, three reds. But you can try more or less if you want, but again, just get those somewhere on your gear. It doesn't necessarily matter what pieces they're on. And then last off, I have the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads for that 10%, or sorry, 8% damage to target out of cover with weapon image that and crit chance. You could definitely do something else here. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted more uh, crit chance, you could do Seska. If you wanted more weapon image, you could do uh, Walker. If you want more armor, you could do Gila. There's a lot of options here. I just like the extra bit of damage to target out of cover just for that little extra edge when you're shooting. Um, but yeah, it's really up to you. That one's the probably the most... Um, interchangeable piece in here. Um, everything else is pretty necessary. I guess you could also swap uh, Sombra. But again, for this more aggressive play style with the way it's set up, I like having that extra bit of crit. That's why that's there, the extra bit of damage for that. And then I get my survivability in terms of having three blues, Unbreakable, the Shield, and the Defender Drone. Speaking of which, let's hop into these quick. I'm using the Striker Shield, which you get for using Firewall, and I will touch on that in just a second. And so I get even more damage doing that. Um, for a total of 12%, you can see there on the side, by using a 1% damage bonus on this mod slot, uh, a little bit of shield health there, and then another 5% damage bonus on that one. For the Defender Drone, I am using a Duration mod there, a Damage Reduction mod there, which gets it up to 10.5% in PvP. Obviously isn't the best, but 10% uh, damage reduction isn't something to laugh about. You know, it's, it's uh, pretty nice, and considering that this is my companion proc, it's just a really nice uh, synergy there between those two things. And then last off, just a health mod in that slot. And then lastly, let's take a look up here at the specialization. I am, of course, using Firewall. This is what allows me to get that Striker Shield. And for an aggressive playstyle in PvP, you're pretty much stuck with using this. You could use Gunner, um, and that certainly would help you out with some uh, bit of weapon handling, armor on kill, rate of fire on kill, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to do Gunner, you can certainly do that, but Firewall has just become too critical to my uh, playstyle with the medkit and the shield. So uh, sure, it's cheesy. That's just kind of how this game is played. But um, I would certainly recommend trying this out. Or if you want to do Gunner for those bit of more precision-based bonuses, um, you could do that. And then I would recommend just doing a regular Crusader half shield um, here. Or if you want to do Decoy, you can. Like I said, in Conflict, that's kind of useless uh, because it hides your radar anyway. But if you're in the Dark Zone, you could certainly do Gunner and a Decoy or even Firewall and a Decoy um, if you would rather do something other than a shield. Okay, everyone, well, I think that about does it for this Eagle Bear Striker Shredder of a build. It works fantastic in a lot of one-on-one -on -one scenarios. It can provide some great area denial beams out into the open. It's great for solo queuing into conflict or complementing a team setup in the dark zone and overall just a great addition to your arsenal. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you can be updated every time I upload. Certainly let me know any and all of your thoughts on the build down below. Do you like my setup? Do you think there are any other talent and skill combinations that could help embody a more aggressive playstyle even better, let me know all of it. Thanks once again everyone so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one guys, Rogue Gold, out.